We together are going to make sure that Brandon Johnson is the next mayor of this city. You heard it there. Progressive leader Bernie Sanders in town tonight to show support for mayoral candidate Brandon Johnson. And with just five days to go until the runoff, both candidates are trying to pick up as many endorsements as they can. Elizabeth Matthews joins us live from the UIC campus with more. Yeah, ladies, another busy day for those candidates facing off tonight, earlier tonight, in a mayoral forum over at University of Chicago. Brandon Johnson drawing a very big national political name and some entertainment. Since Sarah Washington's final hour, we're moving the red line and coward. If you hear for Brandon Johnson, it's great. Headlining the main event, Vic Mensa inside the Credit Union One Arena Thursday night. What appeared to be more than a thousand supporters flooded the venue for the political rally. The progressive icon Bernie Sanders taking the stage after other speakers, showing his national support for mayoral candidate Brandon Johnson. We need someone in the mayor's office who understands that we need not only job creation, but that we need jobs that provide workers with decent wages. And that candidate is the son of the working class, Brandon Johnson. Deep down in my soul, I don't believe that no one should be too poor to live in one of the richest cities, in one of the wealthiest countries, at the richest time in the history of the world. Chicago, there's enough for everybody. Just before this rally, a forum at the University of Chicago where the two candidates squared off over issues like school safety and whether schools should have more police officers. I believe that police officers are there to deter active shooters, not to police the schools. When the schools have been, uh, when officers have been um, uh, improperly utilized by the principals, that's when you have had problems and tension. But look, I, my opponent wants to defund the police. I am not going to defund the police. Paul, hear me. I'm not going to defund the police. I firmly believe in the power and the leadership of local school councils because that's ultimately who gets to make those decisions. The day started early for the mayoral hopefuls with Vallis picking up his own endorsement for more than 100 Latino faith leaders. He's hoping to utilize those communities when he becomes mayor. If we're, we're smart, the faith-based institutions, our churches of, of all and our religious organizations of all denominations can do so much to help us uh, uh, make the community safer by, by providing crisis intervention for services, by doing conflict resolution. They have so much experience in the community. Of course, that runoff election is next Tuesday, April 4th. According to some polls, the race between these two mayoral candidates, a dead heat. Reporting live tonight, Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago. All right.